hello guys welcome back in this section we're going to see how Django handles uh, uh, static files okay so first of all let's understand what is an static file well one static file is one file or a resource or asset that doesn't need to be processed pre-processed by the Django or Django server or a Python server or either from the from the Django framework itself let's for example let's uh, let's pick for example one CSS a file one JavaScript file or one image these files are uh, like they will not be processed they will be served to the user or to the page in the way that they are you know so yeah, the Django or Python doesn't need to read this file and compiling, you know, or doing anything else with the file. We just serve it, it, it will put it in a response, and that's it. So that's called uh, static files. Let's see how Django will handle it. First of all, we need to go to our settings, uh, uh, settings file. And let me close that. Okay. Um, so here in our static file, we can define one variable called static uh, static file dears. Okay. So this configuration will say uh, to Django where do you you store yeah your static files so let's say that we're going to create one folder called my static okay so Django will look for a folder with this name and then inside this folder Django will look for a static file with the name that you cr that we created so first of all let's create this folder so my static okay Inside this guide, let's create one file called style.css. Okay, let's create one rule that will say that every eight one will have the color red. Just as an example, this is just a simple CSS stuff. Okay, so don't worry about that. So, okay, and now here in our uh, example HTML let's let's try to load this file here and try to make this title read the way that we define it in our, our in our file in our CSS file okay so once you set up the static files gears in settings you can load the uh, static files like this it should be the very first thing in your file okay so you put load and static with the curly brackets and the percent sign the way that we did before for the Django template tags and then you can now link your style CSS file this one here so we can do link okay and then you put like this uh, aesthetic in the file that you want to load style.css okay that's a very very basic thing like the very minimal example that you can that we can use is this one so let's go back to our browser and try to reload the page what is giving this URL URL back I think it is let's check it out and the template where's that hinder hinder this one so with the test function so it, it will be the test URL look so here we can see now that our eight eight one um, title is red now why that if we is view the page source now we can see that Django um, handle it this handle this uh, HTML file and process the HTML file itself, not the CSS file because it is static. It handled this 
ATM file and overhide the um, overhide the aesthetic uh, with curly braces and so on and so forth and it, it found the link to the file if we see it, uh, here in settings is that URL is aesthetic so that's the URL that Django will put here as a, as a code name and then slash the file that you want to load okay if we click here we can see that we can uh, visualize uh, the the static file okay so Django will Django is loading it's creating the full URL and is providing the CSS file inside your your document okay so just quick recap first step define where you want to uh, to store your your static file so you will tell Django, Django where to look for um, to static files here first and then you create the folder you create your file file site in your HTML file you load static like this and then you can link um, your static file in this way so that's how static files in Django works as well Django for by default if you create one file call one folder sorry called static inside any app oh sorry our app is the core core is the app so not client client is a project so move this to, to the core core folder so by default Django will always look for an, one, one folder called static inside every single app that you have created in your project and registered here in installed app so once we have core registered here and we have the the app then we will look for static files inside this folder so if, if for example I create uh, core.css and then I will say that h1 will be blue okay so color blue and save it if we change that for color and update the for uh, update the, the the page, let me check it out. Color.css. Oops, here we have a misspelling. Color. Okay. Uh, the uh, the server just restarted. We can refresh. And then color.css. We still not. Are not seeing the the static file. Let me check it out. So color dot css static static color dot css. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. start the server manually to see if it's something related to the server okay here we go I just restart the server and now we have the new file so we see here that in this case we didn't need to inform like um, core like this it wasn't necessary to do core slash static for example because Django by default it will look for a folder inside core called called uh, aesthetic so you don't need to declare okay so here we see two ways that Django will handle uh, aesthetic files okay it will be the same for PDFs if you want to provide a PDF uh, you can put it side in, here inside the static you can put images you can put JavaScript files or whatever you want to use inside your folder but you should be aware that it just will work for static files for example if you provide a way to the users to upload files and then you want to serve these files it's not gonna work for files files that are uploaded by the users because the the way that Django handles it it's a completely different way okay next class we are going to learn how to handle uh, medium media files okay so files that the users are providing to your application okay so but for now let's just care about the static okay remember the way 
that we did for the default files and for every single file that's related to one specific uh, specific app okay guys so I hope that you have implemented uh, this and this example on your machine and I hope that's everything working fine but if not the worries put your put your comment down below that for sure I'm gonna help you okay I hope you enjoyed this class guys see you next time bye bye